got ourselves a princess who is so sassy, who is so fierce. She's actually one of the better characters, I think, that's been introduced recently. She is just running over Ogro, just like sitting on top of him, claimed his, you know, shoulder as her throne. And there was a little bit of a funny spanking scene as well. But I think right now we're basically traveling with her to drop her off at the kingdom. And we're going to get some kind of reward. The fight last episode... I'm not really watching this anime for the fight. It's pretty lackluster, but I thought it was a little funny how the creepy skeleton, you know, centipede thing, you know, traveling to the human village and people getting scared and stuff like that. Those are like the funny moments that I watched this anime for, right? Anyways, let's begin today's episode. Yep. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, she has like king's disposition. She can just tell people with the crest. It was like a fucking command. Everyone listen. I wonder if this is an actual skill or a power rather than just flexing an emblem and people listening, right? <laughs> Oh. We're gonna have babies. Welcome. Not commanded. <laughs> Correct her. Oh, that's a lot of. Oh, that's a lot of. Oh, that's a lot of. Oh, <laughs> really, Hime? I love how the blurring censoring is just using the red haired girl's fucking, you know, face and their fucking cover, but it looks like she's gonna outpace her anytime, bro. She hasn't even hit puberty yet. <laughs> she's just the early game. She's gonna scale way harder later. <laughs> <laughs> this is not an accident. Bro, you, like, 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 if you're doing a reverse hand ass grip, this is 100% intentional right now. It's a mistake, though. That's right. It's a fucking mistake. Okay. That was a fucking scam. Just eating the fish? Okay, that's funny. How did they get their bellies inflated like that overnight? The fuck? And like, Ogro clearly knocked them up. They didn't gobble in pregnancy. It happens fucking fast. Well, is another episode worth getting canceled over, huh? Yeah, immediately. Maybe it's Gobji's kid. You never know. You never know what the fuck Gobji's up to. Steel nutrition, that's why they're suffering. They might die. We need an isekai C-section right now. If we can't deliver the baby, it's like Gogoro needs to fucking rip the kids out and, and then heal the girls. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are we going to actually do this? The girls might die at this rate. <gasps> right now. Right now. We got to do it. Yo, this breathing. Wonder if the kids are gonna come out as twins too, because they're, you know, basically twins. We're both impregnated by you. <laughs> Human ogre hybrid? What? Aww. So wholesome, guy. <laughs> There's. These girls, you know, 
last episode, you know, we did kidnap him. And then we kind of made him have Stockholm Syndrome. So when we dropped him off last episode, you know, they wanted to come back with us. But they're, they're having their kids now. And he's like, yeah, they're going to be our kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just like sentimental music playing in the background. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not justifying this anime. I'm just saying this shit's fucking ridiculous. I can't believe we're doing a fucking, you know, we're delivering the babies right now. Are we going to see it? Eat my arm. I thought he was going to pull out his fucking dick, bro. <laughs> Eat my arm. Is he going <laughs> to... Okay, I guess that's full nutrition. Oh, boy. Here we go. It's gonna have to be raw, girls. I'm sorry, there's no time to prep this shit. Oh lord. We knocked these girls up and now they fucking gonna die from our kids unless they eat the husband's right arm raw flesh. What in the f- You know what? This- You think that this is shit? I agree. But these are the better entertaining moments compared to the actual action scenes. The fight scenes? I do not give a fuck. They skipped over the world building. They skipped over all the fucking important mechanics. I cannot appreciate the fight scenes. But this- Dumbass moments like this. This is what Remonster excels at. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't do some shit like Ogro fucking ripped off each testicle and it's like, yes, you have my right ball, you have my left ball. These are fully nutritious right now. Like, knowing this show, I swear to God, they should have done something like that. Mama Bird style? Mama Bird? <laughs> crazy this is crazy hey but i've been i've been begging this show to go back to its degenerate roots right because like let's get serious who really gives a fuck about the fights in this in this anime no one's watching this anime for the fucking fights bro they're watching this for this dumbass scenes <laughs> oh oh because <laughs> like we are not taking this seriously at all but ogro is taking this so seriously and there's like this like serious piano music happening with like beautiful lighting to make it a wholesome fucking moment i don't know i just it's just like the the bizarreness the contrast right now of what's happening <laughs> <laughs> come on eat my arm raw oh my goodness gulp <laughs> delivery time off screens. Arrow Master. <laughs> Are we doing this? Oh, fuck. Has, has any anime ever, you know, done like delivery of children before? I like. Maybe it's like, oh, your 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 husband, your your wife isn't like, you know, she's she got a water broke, and then you, you might. See her get rushed to the hospital, and then later you're gonna hear, and then a baby sound afterwards. But like, this is, this is like, totally different. We're about to fucking do it right now. We, how much are they gonna show? How, how much are they gonna show? Is what I wanted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's happening. Delivery technique. What the fuck did he get out this? I created a scalpel with high tier equipment materialization. There's no way bro's a fucking surgeon and about to do a C-section right now. We don't really know what the fuck he did back on Earth before when, you know, before he was Isekai. Maybe he had medical knowledge. Maybe he was an underground doctor, man. He seems to be quite knowledgeable. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Off screens. And then the baby sounds, yeah, yeah, you pussy, you fucking pussy. You don't got the balls to show me. You can't fucking show me. Come. I had a little bit of hope, you know, knowing this fucking show. You're gonna fucking skirt around the edges and have the fucking kids going. No potential strong ties. <laughs> He shook, guys. That's how scared he was. You're right. 
Even Ogro is calling her older sister instead of her name. When was the last time he actually called them by the name? We don't even know. Straight up, I don't know most of the characters in this show because they just skip over each one of them and they, we don't... There is not enough time dedicated to each character. They keep evolving and changing names. These two, it's literally older sister, younger sister. That's crazy. 111th day, bro. Still don't know their fucking names. Your younger, your older sister, your younger sister. You know, the first children were stolen from humans? What's that supposed to mean? Monkey? Hmm? Monkey? A bit like a monkey, but a dog. She been watching my channel too much? Oh. Gochi. Yeah, they're halflings, right? Meaning? Uh oh. Kill them? Or rip their horns off? What are you saying right now, Gobji? Yeah. The demi human genes are stronger. Okay. それは人外と人間の双方から疎まれ続け、外を成すモンスターとして生きることになるのは成功山だ。本当にはいろんな知恵をもらった。そのことには本当に感謝してるよ。だけど俺は。You know what? Say what you will, but like Ogro might be the best anime dad, one of the best anime dads right now, and like like most anime dad, they just fucking leave. What did Rudy do, bro? Rudy, as soon as he got the fucking news, was like, I'm out. Peace, motherfucker. And Zanima was like, that's right. Shisho has gone to get cigarettes. He'll be back later. Ogro is actually stepping up, bro. Ogro stepping up. それもっと早く行ってほしかったな。オーブを持って生まれた。Look <笑> That's a wholesome anime, guys. Beautiful family. Father stepping up to protect their kids. Oh my god, guys. And you say this anime is so controversial and bad? Bro, you should be sobbing tears about how wholesome this fucking anime is, bro. Oh, someone enjoy my Roxy rants. Yes, we need to do more. We need to do more fucking rants, bro. We need to fucking pop off more, bro. Him. Oh, bro's a furry. What a... 30% chance of winning, really? Is that strong? Cool transformation, see? The deer's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Just... What are you doing? Thank you. 1148681 for the gifted tier one sub. I appreciate that, my man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, we're gonna do a battle against this fucking ice deer. How is this gonna work out? It doesn't want to fight. Oh! It shed its antler. The fuck? Did it get scared and give us the antlers and left? Was it just the timing of the antlers falling out? I don't even know enough about deer biology because the ants, the antlers, isn't like a seasonal thing. They sometimes come out and sometimes, you know, I don't fucking know. But we're going to eat that shit. It's probably going to be super rare. Wait. Wow, look at that, guys. She shared them with the kids. He's such a good dad. What a wholesome person, man. Quite a slime. Your side with the Fomorians, bro. 
Fuck the Ningen. Bro, it's just naming them. Lightning strike! Let him die. Ogre's probably gonna save him, right? Shoujiki, Ah, new mode? Okay. Varden Fletcher's bar, of course. One bullet spread into multiple bullets. That's what he wants to do? He saved us so he could fight them? Bro, I thought he saved them to be nice. He's like, nah, nah, I saved us so I could eat you as well. This one first. Oh, hero wants to be show off? Kill him. True. Hold up! Alright, we're patties now. The dude's innate potential got almost respect. I'm the leader. Bye bye. Are they gonna matter in the future? Or it's just like, alright, just gonna help you out, see you never. Maybe they're important characters in the future, man. He didn't hear anything when before, therefore he hasn't reached Epic yet. I'm not following, but it probably is some kind of evolution tree, yeah? Yeah, probably is something like that. The bug kid mentioned the Epic? Mmm, that episode against Filippo or something. Epic. I wanna know more about this. <laughs> So this is now hyping up Ogro because he is currently in a not a nerf state, but his potential is not fully realized. And in spite of him not even being an epic, I couldn't make a move against him, meaning we are glazing Ogro right now. He has to get to another evolution. He's going to enter some sort of epic tier and then he's going to be even stronger. <laughs> Premonition of death? Damn, this guy can just like predict if they're gonna die or not? Kutta Oreva, Yorunaru Koro, Yoyaku Dokuts in Modoreta. Giant, 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 giant. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Holy Jesus fucking Christ. Usually in the Kumo anime, you know, the So I'm a Spider, So What, Isekai, there is a lot of moments like this where we can read a whole chart. But those are more palpable. At least I could have like a still frame that I could just like go like this and just like read off the screens. But like this is like. <laughs> Plus, it probably doesn't really matter that much since this anime I don't think is as comprehensive as Kumo. Aww. Oh, look how cute little pajamas! They're matching! <laughs> they can say Papa, they're geniuses. The white hole. These kids are getting some crack nutrition. Right. And the kids- Oh, they tried some out too. Interesting. Red hair girl tried it too. But like, the kids are gonna grow really fast. Cause like, straight up, the goblins, right? Like, like, Gobji is what? Only like, in his 20s or something? Right? So like, these kids are gonna be combat ready before the season ends, I think. Protection of the- they keep doing that. I think they did this before too, the black bars, right? Protection of the something beast, blessed child of something, something, something. What are they hiding from? <laughs> we got super lucky. We straight up got so fucking lucky, huh? Also, is the fact that we don't know the skills like, like, the blurred out basically means we were at a much, much lower level, be and that's why if we consumed it, it's not going to be fully translated. But if we were at a stage where we could beat this guy easily, then it would have been actually, like, shown in the skills. I'm not sure, but White Stag, he pretty much let us go. He could have killed us, but then he just gave us the answer. So like, fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, what is that? Why does it keep doing this?
New level value exceeded. Epic, epic, epic. Now that the special condition for army genocide, mimicking godliness, Lord Slayer, Giant King Slayer, something something declarations have been declared. Epic. Apoa, evolutionary advance into extinct species. Apostle Lord is possible. Oh. Shit. I do love so that, that that is one of the most like appealing things about this show, right? The different evolutionary path and the different trees and like the different species we evolved to. Now we're gonna become a fucking apostle lord, of course. Yes. Ogro has reached evolutionary advance, the designated order, and something 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 has now granted him a true name. Something something something. What is that? Well, it's not black bars anymore. It's actually, you know, these like, uh, what is this? A clover? I'm not really sure. But it's different. I'm not sure if that actually matters. Between like the square rectangular black bars or white bars, I guess. And this, an asterisk, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it does. But it's given us some higher being. Has granted us a true name. And therefore, we are Yaten Doji. What does that mean? Yaten Doji. In, uh, well, I get a bunch of shitten doji here, but uh, I'm probably gonna. Uh, there's a Final Fantasy Yaten doji. <laughs> I don't think it matters. This is Final Fantasy's lore. I don't know. I, Yaten doji. What, what, what is this shit? Unique ability Twilight Demon Eater. This skill sounds insane. Uh, Yaten Doji has met the requirement for a special designation race and action and a special designation individual. So we can change our race now? Special designation. What do you mean? And has been granted five special abilities by the, uh, the asterisk, which I'm assuming is like some kind of god equivalent of this, right? Whoever rules this game, the system, whatever this is. Whoa, 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 error! Requirements to unlock two to five special abilities have not been met. What? Oh, okay, hold up, back up a bit. We need to meet those requirements. What's the requirements? Heretic Nemesis. We got another special ability, but we couldn't completely finish this because we didn't meet two out of the five requirements. Yatendoji has obtained. Oh, what does it say? Yatendoji has a special ability. Fate Plunder. Sounds fucking crazy. Sounds like you can just like change your fate, plunder other people's fate, steal it. Yaten Doji has obtained the special ability Mythological Main Cast, World Epic, Legend of the Black Eclipse Demon. Epic! World Epic! We, uh, here's the epic mention. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's a special ability. Main Cast, World Epic. Uh, do you think... Uh, did, did Phobio say some shit about the epic when he transformed? Is this some kind of transformation? I don't know. Filippo, I mean. Not Phobio. Ah, uh, the black bars again have not been unlocked. We don't know. By obtaining a special ability, Fate Plunder, the fates of Yaten Doji's subordinates are now his dominion. So maybe these are like the gifts. I don't know. They're all our, all our subordinates are now our dominion. Therefore, they're stronger. By obtaining a special ability, Mythological Main Cast, or World Epic, the Epic, its effect will automatically activate. It's like a passive. It's like a permanently active passive. Yaten Doji's subordinates have been selected for eight Demon Generals. Nice promotions and consort of Black Bar, Black Bar. Due to a lack of qualifications for whatever this is, a candidate will be selected once the requirements are met. Okay, so we get eight Demon General evolutions, but there's some other shit we don't really know and requirements are not met for that. Subordinates are selected for eight Demon Generals and consort blah, 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 will granted. Evolutionary advance. <laughs> Oh, Ohio. he's got three horns though. He got smaller and more condensed, but has like three horns. I mean, size isn't everything, right? Like look at Frieza, right? He got the big size and his final form is like a tiny shrink to valley. So, you know, maybe it's like that. That is today's episode. Today's episode was honestly one of the better remaster episodes. And you're gonna say, what the fuck are you talking about? It better as in, I like this show when it's less about random bullshit fighting that gets immediately glossed over with no amount of stakes involved because let's get real, Ogre's just gonna win. But sometimes there are these degenerate funny ass fucking moments like the pregnancy moments and the evolution stuff. I love the evolution stuff. It's kind of like the mysteries of this show, right? Of like who made the system? Who is the god here? What is the evolutionary path? What are we missing? What is the white bars that we can't read? But Ogro has, you know, reached some epic thing. And it's been foreshadowed before, and now he's gonna go beyond. And he's gonna get eight Demon Generals, and there's one rule. Concert of the 
I don't know what that is. And we have to meet the requirements for that. So we'll find that out next episode. But that's it for me. If you're still here. If you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. Until next time, take care.